Hello, I'm Dr. Rob Young. I'm an organizational psychologist and a coach at a consultancy called Talent Space. And I'd like to talk to you about improving your confidence, or more specifically, the component of confidence that I call your inward emotional confidence, which is your ability to manage and control feelings of anxiety or self-doubt. Now, the first point I'd like to make is that it's not only human, but indeed actually beneficial to experience some level of anxiety. In my consulting work with clients, as well as several of the books I've written, I talk about people who have very high levels of confidence as being afflicted with a curse of confidence. So research shows that people with very high levels of confidence tend to talk too much and listen not enough. They may push their opinions on other people and they may not seek out advice. And even when they are offered criticism, they may disregard it. So very confident people could inadvertently come across as domineering and arrogant. In contrast, if you have some level of anxiety, then it helps to keep you alert and focused. You're more likely to work hard at something because you care. And you're less likely to make mistakes because you're more likely to seek out advice and listen to it. And research shows that people who are not only accepting but indeed thankful or even grateful for their anxiety and doubt, may indeed be better able to manage it. However, if you do experience any anxiety and want to feel more confident, you can take action by using techniques. For example, you can use something called affect labeling. Now, affect is merely a technical psychological term for your emotions, your feelings. And affect labeling involves giving a label or a name to the emotion that you are feeling. For example, if I'm feeling nervous, then I might say to myself, I am experiencing a feeling of anxiety. And it works for any negative emotion. So I might say, I'm experiencing feelings of annoyance or I'm experiencing the emotion of embarrassment. Now, what it seems to do is it helps to distance you from your emotions. So, for example, I, Rob Young, I am not anxiety. I am many things. I'm a human being. I'm a psychologist, a dog owner, an author. So by saying I am experiencing a feeling of anxiety, I remind myself that this is something transient, that it will pass. And research shows that actually just doing this one simple act can help to calm the more emotional, unruly parts of your brain and take the edge off of whatever negative emotion you're feeling so you can restore your confidence more quickly. Another thing that you can do to boost your confidence is a technique that I call storytelling reappraisal. But first, a little bit of context. So we often make appraisals or judgments about the situations that we're in. And it's when we feel that a situation might overwhelm our coping resources that we feel nervous. For example, if I'm giving a presentation and I'm feeling nervous, it might be because I'm worried that the audience will be laughing at me. But I can choose to tell a different story. I can choose to reappraise the situation and think, well, actually, this is an opportunity for me to educate my audience about some of the great ideas and content that I have. Or imagine that I went for a job interview and was rejected. I might be telling myself that I'm just not good enough. My confidence may be feeling crushed. But I can choose a different explanation. I might reappraise and say, perhaps there were political factors that I wasn't aware of. So maybe there was an internal candidate who was favored all along, so I had hardly any chance. Now, to be clear, I'm not saying that you need to trick or deceive yourself into believing these things. All I'm doing is reminding myself that there may be factors that I wasn't aware of. And again, this process of reappraising a situation allows the more rational part of your mind to take control back from the more emotional, unruly parts of your mind so you can feel better and more confident again more quickly.